We're asked to determine the limit using L'Hopital's rule. Let's begin by checking the form of the limit. As x approaches zero from the right, 3x approaches zero. 2x also approaches zero from the right, and as the inputs into the natural log function approach zero from the right, the function values decrease to that bound and approach negative infinity. The limit is in the form of zero times negative infinity. For a quick review, if we graph y equals natural log 2x, notice as we approach x equals zero from the right, the function values do decrease without bound and approach negative infinity. So again, the given limit is in the form of zero times negative infinity, which is an determinant, but we have to have the limit in one of these indeterminate forms where we have a ratio in order to apply L'Hopital's rule. So we'll have to change the form of the function before we apply L'Hopital's rule. Notice here we're multiplying by x. Multiplying by x is equivalent to dividing by the reciprocal or dividing by one over x, which means the given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, we can rewrite three x natural log two x as three natural log two x divided by one over x. We don't often use this property in this direction. We often use it in the opposite direction where dividing by one over x is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of x over one or multiplying by x. But notice now if we check the form, as x approaches zero from the right, three natural log two x approaches negative infinity and one divided by x approaches positive infinity. Now we do have one of the indeterminate forms in which we can apply L'Hopital's rule to determine the limit. So now we'll apply L'Hopital's rule by finding the derivative of the numerator and denominator. Before we do this though, let's write one divided by x as x to the power of negative one. And now we apply L'Hopital's rule. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, the derivative of three natural log two x is equal to three times one divided by two x times the derivative of two x, which is two, and the derivative of x to the power of negative one is negative x to the power of negative two. Let's go ahead and simplify this. We have the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, well, two divided by two simplifies to one, leaving us with just three divided by x in the numerator. In the denominator, we have negative x to the power of negative two. Let's write that as negative one divided by x squared. And now let's write this quotient as a product. This is equal to the limit as x approaches zero from the right of, we have three divided by x times the reciprocal of negative one divided by x squared, which is negative x squared divided by one. Notice we can simplify here. X simplifies to one, x squared simplifies to one factor of x, which gives us the limit as x approaches zero from the right of just negative three x. Performing direct substitution, negative three times zero is zero. So after all that work, the limit is equal to zero. And let's verify this graphically. Here we have the graph of y equals three x natural log two x. And we can see as we approach x equals zero from the right or positive side, we are approaching the y value or function value of zero, verifying the limit. I hope you found this helpful.